No, I wasn't satisfied with the performance. Um, if you look at the way we played, that's not typically how we play. Uh, when we scored, we were playing better. But because the, the goal we considered uh, was a bad goal, uh, it, it, it just took the, the zeal out of, out of, out of our, our, our team. And uh, basically that made us to be a bit disjointed. But then when we went into the dressing room, I told them those things happen in the game and uh, we need to pick the pieces together. So in terms of performance-wise, um, I'm, I'm, I'm not happy about the way we played, especially after we conceded. But before we conceded, I think we were solid, we were marking, we were tackling, we were passing the ball well. But then because of the nature of the goal, we just went off. I think when he got the ball, it was a 1v1 situation and he was closer to, to my technical area. So I encouraged him to commit him with the ball, which he did, and gave the cross. And then he just connected. And it's something that we've been doing at training, wing play. We do it a lot. So I'm happy something we did at training, we've been able to get a goal out of it. If you look at when we even scored the first goal, we had about two, three quick chances that we, we could have made it game over, but then we, we still went sleeping. And it's, it's not good. I mean, I'm going to talk to them about that. Sometimes you score and you get the chances, you need to score again, and then you make it game over so that you can relax and play your game. Yeah, I mean, uh, we created the chances all right. And uh, our boys failed to score. I mean, if we had converted our chances, we would have been at this position. Having said that, uh, the boys did well. With the goalkeeper to beat, what can you teach a player to, only the goalkeeper to beat? I mean, that is football. We understand that sometimes you create the chances, you can convert them. But the most important thing is, the player that missed that glorious opportunity is 16 years. So, we are happy with him. We are not going to put any pressure on him. Just that we keep encouraging him to do his best when the chance comes the, the next time. Six matches without a victory. Is that mountain pressure on Yeah, you? it's a worry. I mean, uh, it's a worry. But everybody saw the, the game we played. We're not going to change that. We'll continue to play and play and play like that until we start winning. I mean, the game itself is good. But the scoreline is always not good for us. Too long for Safo Taylor to get to, but he fights for it. Steven Amankona would love to go down the byline. Saints in the decent cross, and that is the second goal for Kotoko. And then there you saw the header at it again. Look at the pace and look at that cross. Brilliant header.